Hey collective, I'm glad you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So let's jump in and check this energy reading, baby. I have been feeling some type of way. I feel very energetic. I think it's because of the, the full moon that's coming up. I don't know, y'all tell me. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's because it's cancer season. Happy birthday to all of the cancers. <sighs> Y'all know I love my cancerians. Okay, so today we're going to start with the happier me affirmation cards. It says, I forgive myself and learn from my mistakes. Ooh, yes, big baby, yes. Um, we all make mistakes. We are not less for making them. You are more because you learn for the, from them. Don't let nobody make you feel like because you made mistakes, you were less of a person. Right? And you know people will try. Tell them F you. All right. So, y'all know it's cancer season. We acting up. So, so uh, we're going to we're gonna start with the bad bitch tarot. Now, I'm going to remind you, if you've been here before and you've seen me use it, I can't do a lot with these cards, but we can clarify with a whole different deck. But it's fun. I love them. I do. Um, but also, yeah, that's I can't do a lot with them because they're not censored for... I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. I thought I was going to move the camera just a little bit. Okay. I don't even know. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right. I think that's the Virgo in me, the perfectionist. Um, do you have Virgo in your chart? <laughs> do you feel the need to be perfect sometimes? But yeah, so these cards are fun. They're fun as hell. I'm not going to beat you guys. But it's a slippery slope dealing with these cards because they're, the depictions are not appropriate for YouTube. But, you know, I'm going to push the envelope because I like them. I paid for them. I like them. And I'm going to try it. You never know what's coming out. So, it's never like I know, oh, my God, I'm, I'm going to skip this card. Whatever the universe has come out, that's what comes out. You feel me? Okay, I forgot to turn the timer on, guys. Sorry. I know y'all hate that beeping. One of the things I always forget to do is turn that. Let me make sure I put the deck down right. Okay, I hate when I forget to turn the timer on because sometimes the timer shows synchronicities that go with what's coming out in the reading. So I do use my timer, even though there's a timer on the camera as well. Spirit, please help us make decisions for our highest good. Give us information that we should know or confirmation on things that we already know so that we can vibrate in our highest good. Okay, let's see what this is. Looks like it came out in reverse. It did. The Knight of Wands. So, somebody was in an in and out energy, and they don't want to be like that now. Okay? Um. Wait. No. The Knight of Wands is an in and out energy in reverse. They pretty much for the streets. Yeah, they all about trying to hand everybody that wand. And that could be a male or a female. Somebody is just in that energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The One of Pentacles is the Ace. Okay, so we, we're going to have to get some more on this. See where, where this is going. Somebody is in a bag or about to have a brand new beginning the nine of cups somebody wishes is getting fulfilled baby look at them yes i love that for us and i can say us because i'm part of the collective for people that be like oh no the reader said us i'm human just like y'all mm, okay let's see what this about first one we'll take the bottom one First, which is the six of cups somebody from your past is thinking about you um yeah somebody from, <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know me. When I start laughing, it don't be for because I'm laughing at y'all or y'all situation. It's because it resonates so heavy with me. It's my birthday coming soon. So there's been a few text messages, some communication of motherfuckers that I'm just, oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking to y'all like mm, uh, of people that I would not spend the block on. They can't spend the block on me. <clears throat> but the reason why I laughed is because someone brought up the fact like, oh, I have a picture of us and, you know, I was like, eh. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. This king of pentacles. Y'all, I ain't going to beat y'all. This reading for me. <laughs> I might as well cut the camera off now. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. <sighs> Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, somebody from your past. Okay, let's see what the bottom of the deck got. The Six of Swords. Somebody want to move to calmer waters. I just told y'all, this is for me. This reading was for me. But I, stay along, play along. Let's see where this gonna take us. Cause I already know what I said. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I ain't gonna be sure. I didn't pray about it, but I just feel like this person is not healed. And the reason why I'm saying that because the Knight of Wands in reverse, but uh, that actually is in the past position. So maybe I don't know. See, I ain't going to talk myself through this with y'all. I love y'all. I do. But listen, I'm about to go ahead and do the reading. <clears throat> and, um, baby, <laughs> it's going to be what it's going to be. It ain't going to be what it ain't. I'll figure that out later. King of Coins, which is the King of Pentacles again. <laughs> okay, he's strong in this reading. And the Nine of Coins, which is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. That's pre. That's independent energy, single energy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, I didn't made myself nervous. Lord, Lord, <laughs> fix it, Jesus, <laughs> fix it. Oh, okay, okay. So now we gonna work through this, y'all. Stay with me, please. Alright, Spirit, show us what we need to know. Let's see what's going on with this King of Pentacles that was in Knight of Wands energy. <clears throat> now they don't want to be for the streets. I don't know what it is. The Fool, the Nine of Coins. I don't know what it is about this deck that is giving me these problems right now. Let's see. Okay, all right, now that we got ourselves together, Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse for our past energy. Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse is a celebration. It could be a celebration. It could be a third party. It could be a celebration. It could be... Um, Let's just call it spade a spade. Seven of Cups in reverse. The deck is upright. <laughs> Definitely, the deck is upright. Um, seven of Cups in reverse is somebody doesn't want to have illusions or you're not even falling for the illusions. And hmm, that's coming in under this Knight of Wands in reverse. So there may have been illusions in the past. King of Coins, which is the King of Pentacles. Seen multiple times, he came out. It was this King of Pentacles, King of Coins, was pulling these illusions. Now they don't want to do that no more. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. The Four of Coins. Somebody's not hanging on. You're letting this you're letting this energy go. 
It could be a fe feminine energy. It could be a masculine energy. But you've let this, this energy go. You let this person go. Give us more. You let them go and they are manifesting you. You may be dealing with a Gemini. They see you as their wish fulfillment. Hmm. Spirit gives another. Page of Cups. You don't want this offer. This person, either this person did not bring you an offer when you thought they should have, or you don't want this offer. Either way. Hmm. Somebody's offer is being rejected. Maybe there needs to be an apology or somebody didn't apologize. The offer didn't come. Now somebody is in the five of cups energy, which is regret. This person knows this person from your past because it's falling under your past with his, uh, with his little jeans half hanging off. Looking at your picture, they're regretting not giving you this offer. Because now they see who you are to them. Spirit. This person was in devil energy. Or you may be dealing with a uh, Capricorn. But something about the situation was toxic. I'm not saying all Capricorns are toxic, not at all. What I'm saying is something about y'all situation was not healthy. You seen it, they seen it, y'all knew it. You um, you pull back your energy, you let it go, and now they're in regret. But they're trying to manifest another cycle with you. Somebody has been in hermit mode. Could be you. It could be them. Somebody's been doing the inner work. Spirit. Who's in hermit mode? Somebody may be dealing with a Leo. Somebody that did not have strength in the past. Somebody fumbled you. Spirit. Before I can even ask. Okay. Four cups. Now they they're looking at their um. They're look. They either they were looking at their options because they had options and they thought that going a certain way was going to work out for them. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know anyone's life. I just read the energy. Uh uh. Uh. King of Wands. Okay. The King of Wands is someone that is passionate and driven. <coughs> And ambitious. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, Spirit, give us more. Because we need to know. We need to know. Because. Uh, Aries Leo Sag out here heavy. Let's see what else we got. You got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Spirit, give us more on this Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups in reverse? This person was looking at their options, but now they realize that whatever they did or wherever they went did not make them happy with the sun card coming out and the empress. They're realizing that they didn't make them happy. Spirit, clarify, empress. <clears throat> oh, shit. 
Three of Swords. <laughs> there was a heartbreak that happened. There was a disappointment that happened with this Empress that they went toward because they they seen that Empress as an option. They thought they could win with that that person, but now you over here in the Nine of Cups energy getting all your wishes fulfilled and they're manifesting you. They don't want to be toxic no more. The Page of Wands, they want to send you some kind of communication and see what they can get going with you again. What else is, what else, Spirit? Let's say the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords. You could be dealing with um, Aries. No, the Emperor is not out here. The Empress. Huh. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm. Yeah, this is this is this is a bit messy. I tell you guys, somebody's trying to spin the block because they fucked it up. The Four of Swords, but they made the they made a wrong move. Now they want to communicate with you that they want to try again. They see you over here. You're looking like money. You smell like money. They want to spend a block. I would ask. Let's let's just see. Let's ask the zodiac oracles. What might we need to know? What zodiac this may be? I feel like um, it's been pretty clear. But let's just look and see. What do we have? Spirit, what do you have for us? What zodiacs may we be working with? Trying to heal from or trying to move forward? Whether that means together or apart. All right, Spirit. All right, Spirit, can I get some zodiacs on the situation? What I told y'all, Gemini, Leo, and if I can get it off the table, without the sun, absolutely. I felt it. It was heavy Gemini energy. Um, and Leo and the sun. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. So we're going to read these right fast. And um, let me grab the little book. I'm going to read it to y'all. Let's see, the sun is 13, so let's start there. I appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't liked the video and it resonated with you, feel free to do it now. Hit that subscribe button so and the bell so you'll be notified when I post. Okay, so the sun. The sun is strongly associated with your birthday. The day you came into being and represents the need to express your sense of self. Other issues involve variations of this, such as self-image, self-esteem, individuality, identity, and personal creativity. Ideas about paternal figures and authority might also be indicated if the sun card appears. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Let's go to Leo, number five. Let's see what that say. Leo fire sign, fixed energy. Key phrase, I will. Birth date, July 23rd through August 22nd. The passionate energy of fire gives life to the fixed focus quality and says, remember your serenity. Express, express your natural leadership qualities. This is no time to be shy, but instead accept the spotlight. The key phrase, I will, says it all. You, we, Your will shall be done because you will make it happen. Ask yourself, how can I shine? Rather, gather all your courage and confidence and create your reali reality. Leo energy is all about confidence and taking your rightful place as king of the jungle. But you are not really the boss of anyone else. 
and you're not infallible. Avoid arrogance. Ooh. They're saying don't be arrogant. I love Leos. Like some of my best friends are Leos, but I don't I don't know any arrogant Leos. If they are, they're not with me. Okay, so let's read Gemini. Gemini, air sign, mutable. Key phrase, I think. Birthday, May 21st through June 20th. The fast moving energy of air moves with mutable flow and suggests that you consider taking action. Oh, you consider every option, I'm sorry. <clears throat> every facet of the situation before taking action action. The key phrase I think means that the motivation is centered on gathering and assessing as much information as possible. In the situation, ask, what do I need to know more about? Follow your curiosity and don't stop until it's satisfied. Gemini energy is very fast moving and can easily get distracted. There are so many things to be curious about and pay attention to. Reel that in a bit and make sure that you are staying focused and avoid flightiness. This person and this Gemini energy may have been in a flighty type energy because something caught their attention. It's Gemini's for me is a great sign. They're very, very good at very good thinkers and all of that. But you couple that with the Leo, the arrogance, the boastfulness, the beauty or the handsomeness of a person. And if they're stuck in their ego, I can see them with the I want to touch it. And what does that mean? That means like basically being in this Knight of Wands energy, like you for the streets, like somebody show you a little bit of energy. They got you like it, they ain't really got to do much. They just stroking your ego and they got you, which probably was y'all's downfall I trigger warning I hope you know you guys are cool with that I'm here to read the energy and tell you the truth that's why you clicked on the video um, like I said this this resonates with me as well so just know um, I know a few people like this they got the I, I like to touch it not people I dated but very close but well yeah pretty much so with that being said, you guys made it through your reading. I appreciate you guys. As always, I love you guys. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. And if you have not yet subscribed, feel free to do so. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Anything you need to know about me will be down in the description box as well as the Zodiac Oracles. So until next time, you guys, have a good one.